everybody, CW here. I'd like to do a quick little VR to Fuzz T Fork. He made a video today. He's been doing a couple videos lately. And he did a video on his Lyman 450 and his uh, RCBS Ubermatic. And I commented, I would have thought he would have had some 45s, some model 45s. I don't have a 4500. I never did get one of those. Um, the last one I was using is the, the second one over there, that one over there. And I've, I've broken handles on a couple of these. And that's what, uh, that's what you're seeing on there. I've got a, a custom handle that I made for this one. I made that bracket and then I welded on this, this handle. Um, give me a little more leverage. Um, the, the handles what break, was breaking the way it was uh, constructed. It's just poor design on uh, Lyman's part. They, uh, they machined a cast part down and threaded it. And it just, where they stopped the threading or started the threading, it just makes for a very weak point and they always crack there. Anyway, the 45 is just a, you know, it's like a, I always looked at these like a Model T. I know they're more intricate designed. Just quite a bit different. Single point, single point leverage. And how they worked in the linkage. But they do the exact same thing. They take the same sizers as the, as the 450s and as the 4500s. They work the same way. You got the same piece on the bottom. Actually, you know, this part here is nearly identical in its design and the way it works. Um, this is actually a little better, nicer than that piece of tin strap that the the 450s get. Uh, it serves the purpose. It does the job. This is just a little bit, little bit nicer, you know, in the way that it works. A little more intricate. Um, you could say it's a little more delicate, but it's really not. That's got a lot more stamped parts on it. That's cheaper to manufacture. This was a, a little nicer made. Um, your, your lube goes in here. You've got your wrench on the top, just like the 450 has. Matter of fact, it takes the same wrench. And this adjusts the pressure on your grease. And uh, digging some of this stuff out because I've had it all put away for a long time. Um, again, that's the... That's the one I used last. This is the one we used a long, long time ago. And we used it clamped. We never mounted it. We just clamped it to the bench, screwed it down, whatever, um, when we needed it. But when I was looking through the stuff, I came across the box that I've been looking for for a long time. I knew I had a whole bunch of lube. I didn't know where the heck it was. And uh, here it is. <laughs> so I think it was Kyle Lusk who was looking for lube. But here's some Canuba Blue that I wanted to try. Never did get to try. Here's some of the old ideal black Molly. And then this, this stuff here was really good. Terramac. I like this stuff a lot. And I did use some RCBS as well. What else is in here? Here's some, of the, here's some of the original Lyman. That's a partial, partial tube. Yep, good stuff. Worked, worked really, really good. I just don't use it any longer. But there we go. I wanted to show these off. They could still be put back to use today. This one doesn't have a a sizer in it but this one does it's actually still got a bullet in it which I was noticing it it wasn't released so to get it out now I would have to do some finagling because it's pretty frozen matter of fact I'm going to squirt some lube in there to make sure it's not corroded um, there's a pin 
that rides back and forth in here that gets pushed up to that follows the bullet to push it back out um the follower pin and it could be frozen why it's such a dead stop but i can see a i can see a bullet in there so i know there's a bullet left in there but these went used a nut with very fine threads to put your sizer uh, bushing in and they were always a pain because the lube would get everywhere inside there and it was such a fine thread that it was hard to get started hard to get off and these here use a set screw out here and I always found them easier they they screwed into the front so this was all clean nothing here this is where your your uh, top punch went right here with a little set screw to stop it and uh I I just I liked it you know the I never had troubles with this one but I, I had nothing but troubles with these mostly because of the handles the handles would just break anyway so there you go fuzz I'm sure you've seen them they don't have the the casting marks in here like the some of the other early presses did there's really no marks on it at all to tell you what it is it must have had a a sticker or something on it but wood handles just bygone era stuff i don't know what was going on here um they didn't have a top punch maybe i don't know where i picked this one up this was a one i got through the years it's a it's really good shape missing a couple parts missing the the ratchet but uh could still be used it wouldn't take much to to get it back going and uh, mine, of course, is working fine. I just squirted it with a little bit of lube. It could be put back into use, you know, right now if I needed it. That one over there is another parts one I picked up um, with a bunch of stuff. And that person had broken the handle too. And some of the linkage, because uh, some of the linkage is missing. So there we go. God bless everybody. CW out!